टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस इटरेशन मेथड प्रॉब्लम्स फाइंड ए पॉजिटिव रूट ऑफ 3x is equal to cos x plus 1 by iteration method so given that f of x is equal to cos x minus 3x plus 1 that means this 3x i am moving to the right hand side therefore cos x minus 3x plus 1 f of x so now you put the kc in the radians and do that one so now you substitute zero cos zero minus 3 into zero plus 1 that is nothing but 2 which is a positive value similarly go for 1 replace x with 1 therefore what you are going to get is minus 1.4597 which is a negative value Therefore, always the root lies between two consecutive opposite signs. Therefore, here it is a positive value, f of 0. f of 1 is a negative value. Therefore, root lies between 0 and 1. Root lies between 0 and 1. Now, we have to define a new function phi of x. So, for that one, take 3x is equal to cos x plus 1. From that one, extract x. x is equal to 1 plus cos x by 3. So, uh, that means this function you can consider it as 1 plus cos x by 3 as phi of x. So, phi of x is satisfies this condition. And uh, modulus of phi dash of x is also less than 1 for all x belongs to 0 and 1. So, this 0 and 1 is nothing but the in that interval the root lies okay modulus of phi dash of x less than 1 for all x belongs to the root lies between the 0 and 1 uh, phi dash of x is nothing but minus sin x by 3 if you differentiate this one one differentiation 0 cos x differentiation is minus sin x by 3 so therefore iteration method can be applied x1 is equal to formula phi of x naught x1 is equal to phi of x0. Now you can take x0 as 0 or r, 0 plus 1 by 2, that is nothing but 0 0.5, middle value of 0 and 1. Okay, you can consider here, I am considering 0. Therefore, if you consider 0, 0 0.367, x2 is equal to phi of x1, but x1 is how much? 0 0.367. Therefore, x2 is equal to phi of x1 that is nothing but phi of 0 0.367 that means 0 0.5953 we have to substitute 0 0.367 in the phi of x similarly x3 is equal to phi of x2 where x2 is 0 0.5953 so simplify that one you are going to get it as 0 0.60933 Similarly, x4 is phi of x3, where x3 is 0 0.60933. You are going to get it as 0 0.60668. Similarly, x5 is 0 0.60718. x6 is 0 0.60709. x7 is 0 0.60710. x8 is 0 0.60710. Therefore, the approximate root of the equation is 0 0.60710 so we are x7 and x, x8 are both the you are getting the same values therefore approximate root is 0 0.60710 thank you